Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. So guys, today we are working on the other Fiat 500 lounge, not this one. We are gonna be working on the, bl the black one that we got <clears throat> with all the damage that uh, we think that has gone upside down on its roof. I'm not quite sure if it's gone that far, but it definitely went on its side, I believe. Not upside down on its roof, I think it went on its side. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> and as most, uh, I did get some comments saying, the reason why there was oil everywhere in the engine bay is because it, it went, the engine went on its side or upside down and oil was just coming out. So yeah, <clears throat> that is what we're gonna be starting today. Um, a lot of work, a lot of stripping down. Um, let's swap it over for this one. I'll bring it in, we'll have a quick walk around it, and then we're gonna go for it. So, let's do this. Right, okay, guys, I've got her in the workshop. Um, this is gonna actually take some time to do this car. There's quite a lot to strip off, to change, to repair, to paint. There's quite a bit on this car to do. So, but I'm quite looking forward to it. I, I, this is what I like. This, this part is probably my most... Um, favorable part and all the stuff that I do. Um, and that is the tearing it down, taking it apart, seeing what needs to be done, repairing what I can. You know, I love this part. This is, this is, this is great. So um, <clears throat> this is what we're going to do today. We're going to start on this one and see how it goes. Um, yeah, <clears throat> all the interiors, well, most of the interiors got to come out. Plastic's got to come off. Trim's got to come out. We've got to hoover up the inside. It's an absolute mess in there. That's one of the first things I want to do is get this glass cleaned out and up out of this car because it's um it's very, very dangerous. You can't, you know, it's really hard. You can't touch anywhere. You can't do anything because there's glass everywhere. So <clears throat> this is what we're going to do today. So let's just, yeah, I'll set you up. Let's get cracking. Um, Let's see how this turns out. Let's do this.
Right, okay, guys. Well, um, yeah, we are taking some bits and pieces off this one already. As you can see, roof liner is completely been removed. I am actually quite shocked that these airbags have not gone off, um, especially this side, because we don't know, and we're only guessing that this is, I don't think it's been on its roof, because it would, would have done more damage to the pillars. I think it would have, um, I think if anything, it's gone over on its side. Um, I, it might not have touched the car completely. It might just touch the bottom. I don't really know, but you know, we don't, we, we don't, we re really don't know what happened to this car. And it'd be interesting to see if someone knew or we could find out because then we can tell the story. Do you know what I mean? I could tell the facts. I can tell you guys exactly what happened if I, if I can find the original owner. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised no airbags have gone off in this car, but it, they ain't. So that's a good thing for me. Um, and I'm, you know, hope everyone was okay in the car, um, in the accident, but I've removed all the trims, uh, to get this roof liner out to get to this bar here. So this, this beam bar here that runs across, um, I think the driver's side is okay. But this has had a little bit of a dink down on this side. So that needs pushing back up. But we need to remove the windscreen first. And we need to remove the um, panoramic roof, glass roof. Once we've removed those two bits, then we'll have a better understanding of, of where it should go up. Um, and then once I get the new bit of glass, um, that will give me the new bit of glass we can... Basically, once this has all been removed, put the new bit of glass in place and see the actual curve, curvage of that uh, beam to see how far it has come down. I don't think it's come down too much, if anything, really, but you just, just, you just never know. I think it's here. It's just here where it, I think it's had a little bit of a dink down. So that just needs pushing back up, probably with the... Um, you know, my uh, portal power hydraulic ram will probably put that in place, set it up on the floor here and then go up and then push it up there until we can get that curvature back. But at least it ain't that bad. It's not, I don't think it's that bad actually. So just a little bit down, you know. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. We're gonna. I'm gonna try and get another door in color. I think I'm just gonna change it all over. I've got to be honest. I'm gonna change to try and get try and get a door in color, try and get a wing in color, try and get a bonnet in color, um, and then that way it's just it's just less painting to do on the car. It'll just be the pillars um, and the back quarter um, over there, and possibly the bumper as well needs a respray because that's been scratched. Yeah, that needs that needs respraying as well. So we'll get the bumper resprayed as well, um, and anything on the other side. But um, yeah, we're just going through the motions. This 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 pillar here needs a respray as well, so we'll get that done across there. But I think this side's actually all right. The rest of the car is okay. The rear's okay. So, but yeah, not too bad. It's not too bad. But there is still um, quite a bit of work to do. I'm going to now um, take the car over on the ramp. We're going to take it up in the air. We're going to take the bonnet off take the scuttle panel away, uh, all the window wipers, get all that out of the way so we can get to this windscreen and start maybe sort of trying to cut that out, maybe, today. I don't really know. Let's just see how it, how it goes. Um, but, yeah, definitely write in the comments where people were saying that the, the reason why there's oil over here is because the car has obviously gone over in a ditch, and as it's done that, oil has got, it's gone everywhere to the right hand side <clears throat> and it, it, that, that makes sense because there's no oil on the left hand side so it'll always I mean, if it went that way oil will be all over here and it is so yeah um so yeah let's just get it over actually we, we could actually do it here actually yeah we might be able to just do it here so let's take this bonnet off scuttle panel all the pieces as much as we can strip it all down we're going to do a full service as well um yeah we're just gonna do as much as we can so let's keep going i'll set you up here rather than take it over there and um 
Yeah, let's do this. Right, okay, guys. Well, there we go. One windscreen out. Um, you've got to be really careful, guys, when you're dealing with glass. Um, <clears throat> I'm used to it. I was a window fitter um, for all the big window double glazing companies for many, many years. Um, I know how to uh, handle glass and look after myself, health and safety, goggles, gloves. I know all that. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> you can now see here, just here, it's down a little bit, but it's not a lot. It ain't really a lot. It's not really a lot, but it's just a little dink. Can you see it just here? Just there. So that just wants a little push back up and it, it's quite a, it's quite a flimsy bit of, uh, bit of metal actually. So it's not going to take much to push that up, but I want to get this top glass out first before I try to attempt to straighten that up. Um, haven't got enough time to take that glass out today, and I'm absolutely shattered. Got to be honest, from taking this windscreen out, um, but it's getting there. We've taken the, the bonnet off, took all the, um, the cowling and the uh, plastics away, and yeah, it's um, it's getting there, guys. We are definitely getting there. Um, what's that in there? What is that? Something is in there. You see it? What is that? Hold on. <laughs> I just noticed it. Let's just get something in there to get it. See if I can grab it. See you, mate. Let me see if I can get it out. That's weird. 
Do you know what? That looks like a, someone's driving license. That looks like someone's driving license. This could be the previous owner. Let me see if this is gonna work. No, I don't think it's gonna work. I've, I've, that looks like someone's driving license, I've gotta be honest. What the hell was it doing there? Um, how strange is that? Yeah, I'll get that up in a bit um, and see uh, whose details is on there. Um, but like I said, I'm absolutely shattered. But it's, def it's, 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 it's steps, isn't it, guys? You know, you've got, you've got to do this. Uh, it's, I knew in, in getting this car, I knew we had to do all this, strip it all down. Um, the actual window uh, fitter, the windscreen guy, he was actually here today um, putting a windscreen in another car for someone else just down the, light, just down the road there. Um, and, um, yeah, he come in and he saw it. He said, yeah, yeah, no problem. He said, just get, get a bit of glass, get the roof glass with um when it already cut out you don't want the glass you don't want a bit of glass with the because obviously some breakers they they cut them here and cut them here and give you the whole roof he doesn't want that he wants it originally already cut out um which i found one um i've just got to go and collect it so he's been in had a look he said yeah no problem he said get the glass out do the repairs to the actual pillars um even if he, he said even if you do it um, and get all, get it all pulled out straight, and then give it a little bit of a paint on this edge here. Just paint it all the way in there. He said, don't paint this. Keep it bare like, like I've done it here. So tape that off, then spray that edge there. Then we can fit the glass, and then it can go to the paint, paint shop and body shop to be finished off. So there is a process um, of, um, of doing this. Um, I've probably got about, actually, I've probably got another hour or so. I could actually start taking this paint off because all that paint's got to come off to be straightened back up. Because I've just rubbed it down here. And you can see, as I, as I, as I rub it down flat, this is the low point here. Um, so, yeah, we can actually, let me, let me set you back up. Just going to take a little bit of this paintwork off where we need to. Um, and then we'll, um, yeah, just see how far we get today. So let's carry on guys. Let's do this. Right, okay, well, guys, <laughs> I am absolutely shattered now. Definitely can't do any more. <laughs> I'm absolutely knackered. But um, as you can see, um, I've taken back the paintwork to get to the bare metal so we can get to the welder, so the welder can tack against the bare metal and we can pull all out the sections that need to be pulled out um, to get that, you know, to get that straight again. Um Done that bit there, done that, done this top quarter as well, because uh, that needs a pull out there and there. So we'll do that. These parts are okay. These, this is all good. We have got one here, uh, and I was considering sticking one of those uh, dentless, um, paintless dents on that one and try and pull that out, because that's only a small little one. Um, Going to leave all that for now. Um, just leave it all now for now. We'll just sort that out um, later on. Um, and we've got a little bit down here as well on this on this pillar. So up here, 
and there so that those two parts there need sort of coming out um and that'll actually help the door i've noticed that it's, it's knocking a little bit on the door it's not quite good so what's happening is when you shut the door it's pushing it pushing the door here so as you pull that as you pull this part comes up that will go that way and that will help the door to be shut because you can see that the rubber i don't know if you can see it there the rubber in there is very slightly coming down but yeah um and i had a little go at the roof as well <laughs> see i just got the hammer and sort of cut the cut a hole <laughs> in the top however it comes out it comes out so i've got a bucket underneath um you know with some gloves and some and, and a pair of uh, goggles um and you can see now that that's where the adhesive is um and then obviously it just goes around here um and then we'll just keep you know keep getting it out tomorrow um it shouldn't really be that bad but i just wanted to get that there like tomorrow i might be able to get a bit of get a bit of wire um and sort of get the wire both sides now now i've got, I've got a hole um and start cutting it out so we'll cut down there and we'll cut down that way and we'll go that way and we'll just see if we can cut it out rather than smash it out into little pieces i'd rather try and get it out in a, 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 you know the bigger piece as we can so but you know i've only this is the first day i've had to spend on this, this this car this is the first day so not too bad we've done quite a lot on this already so far and it ain't gonna take much now um i want to take off the bumper completely take away the bumper so it's just easier when you remove the wing we'll get the wing off because that's got to be changed and then we're gonna have to get the door off to, to change that as well so there is loads left to done on this car but i think I think it's definitely getting there. Um, done loads today, but I've run out of time. That's going to be it. Guys, don't forget, drop me a comment down below. And let me know what you think. There's not many videos on YouTube that shows someone cutting a Fiat 500 glass roof out and refitting another one. There ain't there ain't many out there. Um, and I know for a fact, because I've looked on Paul's uh, Love 500, he ain't done one. Um, and all he does is little Fiat 500. So, yeah, um, it's just interesting, just something different, and it's just um, I'm just showing what I'm doing. So, that's it, guys. Don't forget, give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate all the support, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.